the next lesson we learn from Paul is in ministry, you must be persistent. Absolutely, you have to be persistent. We see once again, Paul and Barnabas were proclaiming the gospel in Lystra, and, and there's there are, uh, certain Jews from Iconium in Antioch who were absolutely opposed to the message of Jesus Christ. And they persuaded a mob of people, and they stoned the apostle and dragged him out of the city. You Acts 14, 19, if you are uh, there, it says, and there came thither certain Jews from Antioch and Iconium who persuaded the people and having stoned Paul, drew him out of the city, supposing he had been dead. This is a serious event that happened to Paul. It's because he followed Jesus, he proclaimed the gospel, and he was attacked. He was attacked. This angry mob wanted to physically kill him. They wanted to get rid of him, wipe him out because of the message, the message of the cross, the message of Jesus. What is surprising is what we read in Acts 14, 20 and 21. Howbeit, as the disciples stood around about him, he rose up and came into the city, and the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derbe. And when they had preached the gospel to, to that city and had taught many, they returned again to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. Paul was a persistent man, amen? You see in Scripture that when Paul should have gone to the hospital, he rose up. When Paul should have had his wounds bandaged up from being stoned, he rose up. When Paul should have taken time off to heal, he rose up. When Paul endured an absolutely crazy episode in his life, he rose up. Paul was a persistent man. Paul knew his purpose was to follow Jesus Christ. Paul knew that God gave him a mission and a ministry. If you're in pastoral ministry or any ministry, you must be persistent, absolutely persistent. The word persistent is defined as persisting, especially in spite of opposition, obstacles, discouragement. Now the definition of persistent is constantly repeated. I love that definition. It describes the ministry. And the ministry isn't done after the service. It, it, it's constantly repeated. It, it's constantly repeated. It, it, it demands of a person everything. Constantly repeated. Paul's letter to Timothy in 2 Timothy 2.3 says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Paul is, is mentoring this, as he says in Scripture, son in the faith, Timothy, about ministry. And he says, endure hardness as a good soldier. This is, this is a battle. We're in war. When you enter the ministry, you get a target. This is, this is you. You have to endure hardness as a good soldier. In the Christian life, we must endure hardness in the being persistent in just following Christ. Uh, let's not talk about serving. You have to be persistent in just following Christ. When you go home tonight and you go to bed, you have to constantly repeat. Constantly repeat to be in devotion with the Lord. Constantly repeat the next day because it's never done. We have to continue to be faithful to the end. As laborers in the ministry, we must constantly repeat our divine mission on the ministry that God has given us. I thought about uh, the persistence of Paul, and I thought the opportunity that anyone who serves in any type of ministry, I'm thinking about uh, the, the young men who serve in the uh, audiovisual team or, or even people who serve in the Sunday school, anybody who's any, any function of ministry. It absolutely is amazing that we have the privilege Privilege of what? Serving God. We can serve God and preach the gospel and be, and be part of preaching the gospel even if we're not preaching from the pulpit. We can, we can help in ministering to uh, babies in the nursery who are yelling, but we're part of the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ because we're helping. We're, we're part of the ministry, but God allows us. Church, God allows his people to be part of kingdom work. He allows us as ministers to, to sing songs, to lead a congregation, to be a part of kingdom work. And I love that Paul presents this as persistence because this persistence was a joy for him. This ministry was a joy for him. Persistence in ministry should also lead to joy.